I saw this headline from CNN. White supremacy and hate are haunting Asian Americans. In one sense, it's immaterial whether the accused killer in Atlanta spa shootings admits to a racist motivation. Hey, I have a question already. If this was motivated by race, does he like black people? Does he just hate white people and Asians? Because two white people also died. This is that same CNN article from March 18th of this year. How much is Trump to blame? This protester was definitely in this Asian guy's face because of Trump's damaging rhetoric. The extent to which Trump, who often refused to condemn white supremacy. I'm not even gonna go all the way back to my video where I have a compilation of him saying it like 17 different times. But here's Jake Tapper. The president did condemn neo-Nazis and white supremacists. While the focus is on anti-Asian hate, it all stems from white supremacy. And anyone can be a scapegoat at any moment. Just a reminder that whiteness can still be the culprit, even if a hate crime is committed by another minority. White supremacy has many mouthpieces, don't underestimate that. Now I'm all for ending racism and calling it out when I see it and standing in solidarity. Maybe not like that, but you know what I'm also all for? Using actual facts and stats to back up an argument. In which case you have none here to back your white supremacy bullshit. It's honestly so sad to me that they felt so successful in their last race baiting narrative less than a year ago that they already have jumped to another one. People let the media manipulate their feelings and emotions so easily. Also, let's just take a look here where the most anti-Asian hate crimes have increased. New York, Los Angeles, Boston, Seattle, definitely Trump territory. And before I play these videos, I'm not trying to make this about race. I'm trying to call out our media for making this about race. I just wish we could stop all the race baiting and just call evil what it is. Evil. They want us to hate each other. They want us divided. Drama makes for better news, which means better money. An 84-year-old man has died after a horrific daytime attack. The suspect, Antoine Watson, attacked the senior along Anza Vista and for- Would you classify these attacks as hate crimes? Absolutely. Crack your shit! He just robbed your dumb ass! Nigga! 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 I hate Asians, nigga. Three suspects ambushed the 67 year old man, dragging him to the ground. They kicked and beat him. Man, mind your goddamn business, Chinese lady. Fuck last cheek. Mind your goddamn business, man. Alright, so tell me this. Hey, where was all the commotion when this man murdered that Asian lady right there? Hey, what about this one right here? Where, where was all the support? Where was all that stinking support? She, what about this one? What about this one right here? Hey, this one right here. This one right here. Most of those crimes pretty much happened in the beginning of 2021. Oddly enough, I searched for CNN's article on this and couldn't find a thing. Hopefully they're just waiting until the suspect is caught. But of course, the mainstream media narrative, and from the left, we get the single most cited oogie boogie reason for all the problems in this country. White supremacy. Because racial narratives are so much more powerful than statistical data, unfortunately. Oh, really? Wow, that's uh, mostly white people for sure. Hmm. It must have been a reason for that. Another thing I had to ask is what are the Chinese, once again, doing with the Muslims locked up in their country? Why do the good Chinese have- American hate crimes have skyrocketed. Skyrocketed? By how much? What percentage? Tell me. Stop. Stop. This is stupid. It has nothing to do with Asian hate. It has to do with hate. People just don't like people. And they're ignorant. And they're stupid. We gotta learn how to protect ourselves like we always have. So you wanna attack Second Amendment? You're part of the problem. You want to be part of the solution? Don't encroach on my freaking gun rights. I'll protect myself. Thank you very much. I think I'd rather you just call me a slur. 